Yeah, my name is Michael Jennings. I'm from the Australian National University, and this year I have the privilege of being at STIRS as a fellow. My main area of study is evolutionary um, ecology, and I'm particularly interested in sexual selection, which is basically natural selection related to competition for mates or for fertilizations. So in my public lecture, what I'm hoping to do is give you a little bit of an insight into the kind of work that evolutionary ecologists do, it's work that's very strongly driven by um, evolutionary theory and understanding how natural selection operates in the natural world. And the goal, really, is to try and make sense of all the diversity out there in the world. So you look out there in the world, and there's a thousand different species of bird uh, in South Africa, for example. And how do you make sense of all that diversity? You can just simply document it. But what common patterns can you find? And so we try to study understand the theory that will explain patterns. So for example, here's one thing you might not have thought about. Like how many sons and daughters should you make? What would evolution lead to? What ratio of sons to daughters? Do you know the answer to that question? If you don't, I hope you'll come along to the talk and I can maybe explain to you why there's a certain ratio of sons to daughters and how it sometimes differs from that that you might expect it to be. So as an evolutionary ecologist, I'm interested in animals, but of course you might have noticed that again and again evolutionary arguments are used to explain human behaviour and often differences between males and females. And while I tend to try and avoid studying humans, I would also like to present a piece of research done by one of my um, students and colleagues and I looking at the issue of male and female differences in the animal kingdom and seeing what this may or may not tell us about differences we observe in human society. And again, I hope that the answer might be of interest to you and perhaps not quite the answer that you would have expected. So thank you very much and I hope I see you at the talk.